Hey there and welcome to the shop. In today's video, I'd like to introduce you to Blue Demon's low fuming bronze flux coated brazing rod. In this video, we will discuss some of the details of this product, some safety concerns and how to deal with them, and a short demonstration of the product. Low fuming bronze flux coated rod, abbreviated LFBFC, is a general purpose copper based alloy brazing rod. LFBFC is used in the braze welding process. Filler metals are manufactured into, into different forms and classified into different categories. You can identify the type from the beginning letters. The AWS classifications for LFBFC is RBCUZN-C. Some of the most popular AWS classification types begin with E for electrode, R for rod, or RB for electrode, rod, or both. In our case, LFBFC is an electrode, rod, or both. Electrode simply means the filler metal carries the welding current in the process. Adversely, a rod would not carry any current and is heated by another source. An example of this would be the TIG welding process. The RB classification would mean the product can be used for things like braze welding or oxyfuel brazing. The next set of letters designates the chemical composition of the filler metal. In our case, the CUZN indicates the rod's composition is primarily a copper and zinc alloy. And finally, the last position is a C. RBCUZN is broken down into several alternatives. In our case, the C signifies this product can be used for steel, copper, copper alloys, nickel, nickel alloys, cast iron, and stainless steel. This designation also means it can be heated with a torch, furnace, or induction brazing processes. Because of its low fuming characteristics a, and good mechanical properties, this product is a widely used general purpose brazing rod. Because of its low melting point, this filler metal is easily machined and excellent for sheet metal work. Don't let that easy machinability fool you. This filler metal has high tensile strength and good ductility. As I previously mentioned, this is a flux coated brazing rod. Therefore, you will not need to use a separate fluxing agent. If, however, using a separate flux is ideal for you, this product also comes in a low fuming bronze bear rod. Blue Demon has you covered there with their LFBB. Check out Blue Demon's website for details on either of these products and instructions on bronze brazing rod. Let's stop here for just a moment before we begin the demonstration portion. We need to talk about safety. To cover this topic, it would take several videos in order to build a comprehensive safety guide. We don't have time for that today. However, I felt some discussion on safety was needed, so I'll touch on a few topics. Gas welding and brazing bring their own dangers and concerns when compared to arc welding. When gas welding or brazing, you should wear the proper clothing and safety gear. This includes, but is certainly not limited to, safety glasses or goggles, face shield or some combination of those, with a shade four or five lens minimum, Never substitute safety glasses with sunglasses. A long sleeve shirt, jacket, apron, or some combination. This apparel cannot have open pockets or cuffs as they can trap sparks. Next, work boots, skull cap, and pants. Again, no cuffs for sparks to get trapped in. Now with respect to equipment, Never use a butane cigarette lighter to ignite your torch. Always use an approved oxyfuel striker. 
Never stand in front of your regulators when you open the valves on your tanks. Always stand off to one side. Never use cylinders that are not properly secured in the upright position. Always check chains and straps to ensure your tanks are fastened securely. Finally, you should periodically check hoses for cracks or leaks and you should always check connections with soapy water each time you switch tanks out. Remember, protecting your safety and the safety of others around you is your most important job, whether you're an employee or a weekend warrior in your home shop. Now that we've covered the safety portion, I'll set up a few test coupons. I'll be right back after I get my gear on. Welcome back to this demonstration. So I've got a, my, bar, my flux, flux coated rod here and I've also got a coupon that I'm just going to pad a few beads on uh, just to kind of get my hands in sync and make sure my pressures are set correctly. Then I've got some coupons here that we'll, we'll braise together and uh, let's get to it. Okay, so we've reached the end of this braze joint. 
So I'm pretty happy with the uniformity. It, it's not the best in the world, but um, it is pretty uniform. I don't see any holes or anything like that. So this, uh, this brace joint was pretty successful, I think. Uh, if we did a bend test on this, it should, uh, should hold together pretty well. It uh, fairly clean. I kept the heat under control pretty well. It didn't run all over the place and uh, looks pretty good. So I'm real happy with that. I really appreciate you spending your time with me today. And please remember Blue Demon for all your welding needs. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.